Hi, and uh, welcome back to Taste Panel for Chili Nerds, and this is episode 57. Now, just ask yourself, what is better than sitting back and chilling out to another episode of the panel? Well, hey, I dare you to find something better, but I'm just joking. But anyway, uh... We do have another sauce today, and I'm bringing you Simply Habanero. Yeah. All right, Simply Habanero is one of the Briner's classics, and uh, according to them, this will be the ultimate hot sauce experience. All right, well, the uh, Briner's, I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, they run a farm in western Pennsylvania, okay? And they make hot sauces out of the peppers that they grow on the farm and they harvest there. Uh, there are four sauces in their lineup. Um, today, I picked Simply Habanero, uh, which we can safely say is a uh, habanero sauce. So. Uh, Let's look at the ingredients on uh, this particular sauce. Okay, we have carrots, uh, perhaps accounting for some of that orange color. Uh, vinegar, peppers, okay, it just says peppers there. Um, since the name is simply habanero again, uh, I'm thinking we're gonna have some habaneros and maybe some orange habaneros perhaps accounting for some of that orange color. Uh, also, water, onions, garlic, citrus juices, salt, and other spices. All right, and it's out of Evan City, PA. Again, a artisanal handmade product here uh, coming from uh, their farm. So, hey, uh, you want to check out uh, any of Briner's Classics, go to www dot brinersclassics.com and check out the four sauce lineup that they have. Well, anyway, uh, without further ado, we're going to get on with Simply Habanero. Yeah! Alright, so uh, I do see there is a little, little piece of plastic happening here. Um, let me get that off of there and we shall commence. Yeah! Alright, boy, it looks good. A uh, little pepper blockage here in the neck. I'm gonna knock that back. And you guys know the story. Let's uh, give it a quick reshake. And now, let's try. Hey, look at that. It just reblocks itself anyway. Yeah, real pulpy looking. Kind of. It's really pureed. Um. I'm kind of getting a, like a garlicky, vinegary, vinegary nose. We're picking up some tang there. Um, yeah, some peppers floating in there. But mainly, uh, mainly, uh, uh, a lot of garlic, perhaps some onion, uh, and vinegar. Yeah, but hey, again, we can see there's some uh, obvious pepper in there. So, without further ado, we will take the trusty spoon and give this guy a pour. Alright, like I said, uh, consistency looks kind of, I think it broke free there. Looks kind of, ooh, look at that, yeah, wow. Alright, again, looking kind of like a mushy baby food look there. Wow, getting a really... Ah, oh, garlicky, really strong, oniony, garlicky nose just drifting right off the spoon. Okay, again, really, really well pureed. Kind of does have that baby food thing going, some oily sheen on there. Hey, without further ado, let's do it, guys. Mm. Mm. Wow, kind of has a... Uh, Wow, yeah, really creamy, really creamy, almost velvety texture to it. Uh, 
not a not a lot of pulp, but there is that miscellaneous uh, miscellaneous little crunchy pieces going on in there. Uh, I'm not sure where that's coming from. Perhaps some looks like there possibly might be some black pepper. That's kind of what it's tasting like. I'm crunching down on some black pepper. It has that mouth feel. It has that flavor. Um, really garlicky up front. Really oniony up front. It has a spicy, a spicy taste. Uh, got a really like strong tang of vinegar on the back of the tongue, but it's really kind of well balanced with the with the with the rest of the spices. Uh, that vinegar is kind of just grabbing me at that point in the back of the tongue for some reason, and it's really that's where it's kind of settling in. Um, oh, it's a garlic fest! Wow, lots of garlic, lots of onion, um, pepper taste. I'm sure are in there. Um, maybe a little fruity note going on. Um, however, it's uh, Peppers are really running the battle with the with the garlic and the uh, the onion flavors. Really, even maybe with a little bit with that tang going on. But everything's kind of falling together in a very uh, a very uh, a very positive way. Uh, heat uh, catching some heat back there with that vinegar tang, kind of hanging in the back of my tongue. Uh, warmth in the chest as always. Um, Got a small but full, uh, full pattern lip burn on the upper lip anyway. Bottom lip, I got a little hairline going across the bottom. Um, front of my tongue has a little bit of a, a little sting going on. Um, 